plants are essential to maintaining a healthy balance in our world's ecosystems, but environmental stressors like drought and global warming pose real danger to plant development. Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis explains how some plants are adjusting to those stressors with just a flip of a switch. She also shows us the research happening here in San Diego that could benefit future crops in tonight's Earth Aid Report. These beauties, they thrive off of photosynthesis and new research has shown that an alternative form of it could actually be used to produce a more productive crop in the future as well as make climate resilient plants. This rice plant along with 95% of the plants in the world use what is called C3. This is considered a more traditional form of photosynthesis. Unfortunately, this form is less efficient when it comes to drought conditions and heat. Rice plants thrive in cooler, more temperate environments. This makes them more vulnerable to depletion due to climate change. The other 5% of plants in the equation use C4 photosynthesis. So while you can't see it visually, uh, at the cellular and molecular level, things are very different. Mm -hmm. And what's great is that these, these plants look a little bit more robust than rice and they can withstand higher temperatures, uh, they can withstand higher heat, and they're more water use efficient, all because they photosynthesize in that special way. Joseph Swift, a postdoctoral researcher with the Salk Institute, is showing us sorghum, a close relative to corn. Both are in the grass family. These plants utilize C4 photosynthesis. Joseph, along with other researchers, including Salk professor Joseph Ecker, use single cell genomics technology to explore the molecular mechanisms in plants using C3 and C4. The difference between C3 and C4 plants like rice and maize is, is not different genes. So they haven't evolved different genes. What's happened in the, the study that we recently published uh, shows that the, the, regula the regulation of the genes is now different. A particular protein involved in regulating C4 photosynthesis genes turns on an extra group of leaf cells. This allows plants using C4 to produce more energy and adapt to stressors like higher temperatures, drought conditions, and increased CO2 in the atmosphere. So it's not a switch of genes, it's a switch of the regulation of the genes. The research is in collaboration with Salk's Harnessing Plants Initiative and the Global C4 Rice Project to produce similar molecular changes in C3 plants. This includes researching rice, wheat, and soybeans to make more productive crops that are also resilient to climate change. If we can encourage them to photosynthesize um, in, a more, uh, in a more efficient way, then that will help them keep producing the food that we need. Rice crops that utilize C4 photosynthesis would increase crop production by 30 to 50 percent. The climate resilience would allow these crops to grow in regions unsuitable for C3 rice growth. This would aid in reducing food insecurity globally. The plant yield increase would be an immediate impact on uh, increasing the world food supply because rice is one of the major staples in the world. And so increasing the, both the yield and the area of which it grows in uh, are important because the climate is changing and the temperature is increasing and that would allow rice to grow in much more uh, uh, arid environments. Now that's some food for thought. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Javis.